Hello, welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to be, right now I'm going to be talking about, um, <clears throat> this move, this here. Um, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. <clears throat> Why am I talking about this? Well, mainly because I saw the trailer for the movie when I was watching the Hunger Games movie. And, and the second I saw that, I was thinking, like, I have got to read this. Because if it's good enough that they're going to be making a movie on it, then... <clears throat> I mean, there, yeah, there are plenty of other really good books that really should have movies based on them, but and definitely better. But it's still a this, but still, you know, they're making a movie based on something, so you know it's going to be the book has to be at least good. Well, for the most part, the book is going to be good anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Um, which is why I'm talking about this, and I, you know, it was really entertaining, and you know, the whole idea of um, a secret history of Abraham Lincoln hunting vampires and uh, vampires kind of being like the secret founders of America, so they could, you know, because <clears throat> they were trying to like escape from Europe, and the incorporation of like real life history into the <clears throat> fictional history here is, you know, like with the blood countess and so forth. You know, it was really, it was just really interesting and and entertaining. Um, Lincoln was cool. Everyone was like, <clears throat> um, and, uh, you know, even the good guy vampires were, you know, fairly interesting. Like, um, like one guy named Henry, who is uh, the one who kind of trained Lincoln, and um, like I especially like how it all built up towards the Civil War, which apparently was, as far as this book was concerned, like actually like um, war between humans and vampires, and how um, humans were sort of fighting for their freedom and trying to. Or like they were fighting for the freedom, but they didn't know it. They thought they were like fighting for slavery or something, and then revealing that <clears throat> oh no, it's uh you know vampires and they're trying to take over the world and so forth. And <clears throat> you know it was all uh, it was really cool. In in the end, I I'm given this five out of five because you know I just. Like, well, pretty much it's easy to sort of picture everything that's going on. You know, I felt all the, the all the characters were memorable and interesting in their own way. Um, and sort of incorporating the, like I said, the mixing the real-life history with the so-called secret vampire history. <clears throat> and... No, it was just a well-rounded, well-written <clears throat> piece, and I highly recommend it, especially if you're going to be watching the movie, because you're probably going to leave some stuff out. I guess you know, I'm just I'm just assuming they're going to leave stuff out because there there's always whenever there's a, they go from book to movie or from book to video game and vice versa, there's always going to be stuff that's added or taken away when it goes in from like the novel to the movie or stuff that are at, stuff that's added from when you go from movie or video game to novel to the novel form and <clears throat> you know if you're planning on watching the movie then I would definitely recommend at least looking at look, looking through the book first uh, because it, it like I said, it was very well written, good, and enjoyable, and I loved every every minute of it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> till next time. I'm the bibliophile Jordan, encouraging everyone to read and have a nice day. Bye.